Hello, hello, hello. Uh, one camera, five minutes. <laughs> and the hope here is to look at um, an easy way into understanding proportion and understanding how these relationships of angles, lines, and dots um, all come together to create a believable sense of something that's three-dimensional being translated into a two-dimensional image. So I'm using the same plant fragment, um, the same stem and leaves that I was doing the blind contour from this morning, but i um, going to take a, a quicker approach and a more direct approach and more or less map the relationships um, of the tips of the leaves, places along the stem where the leaves come into contact with the stem or where the stem changes direction, and being aware and kind of dialing up my my um, attention to the negative spaces looking at um, so if I think about positive and negative positive is the plant itself negative is all the shapes that are created around it um, my main tool is my pencil uh, not just to draw but to measure um, and to look for angles between reference points and to translate them. So I'm going to start at the top of the plant again the same way I did this morning and um, I don't normally do this when I'm drawing I've, I've kind of gotten to the point where I've internalized it um, but please like the first few of these that you're doing especially if you need a way to kind of tell yourself and to show yourself okay I'm getting it um, go through and make these additional notations um, onto the drawing really as a as a reference a reminder and a confirmation um, that this works so what I'm going to do to start is to sort out where that first point is um, and I'm gonna put a few points at the tips of the leaves and this is just as I'm looking straight down on them and I'm meaning to close one eye as a way to flatten things. We have stereoscopic vision so you kind of you'll notice if you close one eye and then the other things shift a little bit. Um, choose one eye, let that be the one that you you have opened or closed and what I'm doing now is along the stem I'm just putting a dot wherever there's a change in direction as well as um, places where there's a lot of um, information that comes together. There are leaves that come together, things are, things are changing direction, whatever that might be. And using just kind of this transference method, I'm gonna pick a point over here that's basically straight across or is parallel. So this is gonna become a one-to-one -one drawing. Um, I want my drawing to be the same size as, as my model. And I'm now going to close one eye and I'm looking for the angle. So the angle that I'm charting is between here and here. So putting my pencil down, I'm not putting it right on top, but I'm just kind of letting it hover above, flat, looking at what that angle is, and then pulling that angle over here. And by pulling just so, so I can give myself that reference and create that line. So it goes that far. And then you know, I've got this concentration of activity here. And now I'm just going to block in the shape of the leaf. So just paying attention to how long it is, how wide it is, and then transferring that shape more or less and you can always go through obviously you can always go through you can erase things you can sort of do some editing um, as you as you need to okay, bring that down a little bit and then go to my next shape so if I look at the angle I know this dot is going to be a little bit lower it's roughly going to be there and then if I'm looking at the angle from there to there again I'm blocking in the shape as I see it And for what we're doing right now, I'm just going to fill in. So I'm not going to pay attention to the veins or the, the variation in coloring. There might be some folding of the leaf, too. We'll get to that later. My third one. And now, sort of the trick is I now have multiple reference points. So 
if I'm trying to get to this point, I can measure this angle, I can measure this angle, and I can measure this angle. So everything is going to converge. And the more things that converge, the more accurate my drawing is going to be. I'm going to go a little bit farther out. I'm now looking between these two points. And I'm feeling pretty good about that placement because I was able to cross-reference it. Thinner on the bottom than it is on the top. Got a little, little bit of stem there. Now I'm moving my way down the stem. And I'm looking back and forth between the two. So even though I've, I've taken that measurement, I feel pretty good about that angle. Most of my concentration is over here. Looking at that guy. I'm going to track the angle between here and here, between here and here. Eh, why not? I can even do it between here and here. And eventually I'm going to get to there. So if I'm looking from there, you know, it's going to be a little bit higher than here. If I'm looking to here, it's going to be a little bit farther in. So I need to shift it a little bit. And then I can just follow my line up the vein. I'm talking about negative spaces here. Now I'm looking at how much sh how much space I have between these two. This is a little I've drawn it a little too far, so I'm gonna nudge it over. Got the kid underneath. Here, that line. Maybe about there. Looking at the negative sp shape, the negative space that's created between these two. And that's really just a way to confirm that you're on the right track. Next angle is here to here. I've got this secondary stem that's coming up. Okay, so this guy I know is farther this way than here. So looking for that angle. And it's going to end roughly there. And it's thin. It is long and thin. a bit of a rise there. I'm being fairly casual with my edges. That is always something I know I can go in and refine pretty much any time as this keeps developing. What I really want is a solid foundation that I can build on. I'm going to take that to there. And my last angle is there. I'm just going to nudge this up just a little bit. So I can already see this bottom mark is much lower than this one. So I'm looking both at this angle that's being created on the leaf itself, but also this angle between the bottom of the stem and the tip of the leaf. And where's my, this is about that far up. And it's always better when you can put a sound effect in. Okay, so the test, the check, is to slide it on over, see what we get, and it's pretty close. Do some fiddling. Um, close, close enough for what we are looking for right now. So I'm going to leave this over here for a second and see what we get when we connect these dots. So we've got from here to here. Here to here, here to here, to here. This was there. This is here. 
am I doing? Oh, right, okay. This is not. Gonna get rid of some of the superfluous ones right now. And there is our skeleton. So this is the underlying structure. This is that structure fleshed out. And that is how we can think about proportion. <laughs>